This is not financial advice. I'm recording my thoughts about Doximity, ticker symbol DOCS. The stock is currently trading at about $32 with a market cap of about $6 billion. The stock is down about 70% in the past one year. Let's look at Doximity's business model. Doximity is like LinkedIn for medical professionals. Apparently about 80% of the US doctors, 50% of the nurse practitioners and about 90% of the new medical students are on Doximity and having all these people on one platform has a lot of advantages and that's how Doximity makes money. They make money in three different segments. The first segment is marketing. As we all know, medical professionals like doctors drive a lot of spending in the healthcare because they prescribe medications and treatments. Therefore, companies can use this platform to advertise their products and services to doctors. Number two is recruiting solutions. Because there are a lot of people on this network, people can use this as a recruiting solution. And the third segment is the telehealth solutions. And we all know what telehealth solution is. So these are the three segments with which Doximity make money. They have a lot of competition from the likes of Teledoc, Doctor Anywhere and other companies. Let's look at Doximity's financials to get an idea of the risk reward to help us make an investing decision. In the most recent quarter, they could only grow their revenue at about 24% year on year. But when you look into the previous two quarters, it's in the order of 40% and 60% respectively. So it is very difficult to get an estimate of the growth rate for companies like this, because even though they look very attractive, there's a lot of competition and it's very difficult to predict the revenue growth rate. But for my evaluation, I'm going to pick about 25% growth rate for this company for the next five years. In 2021, they made about $340 million of revenue. When I assume the 25% revenue growth rate, they would make about a billion dollars of revenue in 2026. And this is in line with a lot of analysts prediction, but it can go either way, right? They can make much more or they can make much less. We will not know, but 25% is the assumption that I'm making. With respect to the net profit margin, this company has gross margins north of 80%. So I'm going to assume a 35% net profit margin with which they will make about $370 million of net income. For a company that's growing at this rate, I can easily assume a multiple of 27.5. So with a multiple of 27.5, this company would be worth about $10 billion. With respect to the outstanding shares, they have about 191 million outstanding shares at the moment but they have more than $800 million of cash and almost no debt. So personally, I don't see any reason for them to dilute the share. So I'm going to keep the share count same even in 2026. When I divide the market cap of 10 billion with the 191 million outstanding shares, I get a share price of about $53 in January of 2027. Currently, it's at $32, right? That's about 65% gain, which is attractive. It'll definitely beat the index with that kind of return, right? At the moment, the reward is less than 2x and the risk is low to medium. In conclusion, Doximity seems like a solid company with good financials, but the price is not very attractive for me at the moment. But if it falls below $26, I'm going to reevaluate my decision.